I'm going to do a 2004 AB number 1, um, show you how to do it on the calculator because it's uh, pretty much the ideal problem to show up if uh, we're allowed to use our calculator. So um, first thing I do is define the function, um, so that's f of t, and then colon equals, and 82 plus 4 sine, uh, whoop, sine of t over 2. Um, and it's only valid between 0 and 30, but that's not really going to matter to me. Something you could screw up here is do f of x, um, and then put a t, or f of t, and then put an x. That'll make the function not work. Um, also, if you don't see done at the end, it means you didn't use colon equals, um, and that'll cause you problems as you go along. But first question, uh, to the nearest whole number, how many cars pass through the intersection over a 30-minute period? Well, I know that uh, the function that I was given was a rate, so if I integrate the rate, um, over the time interval, that'll give me the total, so from 0 to 30, of um, f, which is why I defined it, f of t dt. Um, I did uh, control enter to get an approximation, so 2,474 cars. Um, is the traffic flow increasing or decreasing at t equals 7? So um, one of the things I'm allowed to use my calculator for is numerical values of derivatives. So uh, I'm tempted to always use that template, but actually in menu and calculus, derivative at a point is what I really want here. The variable is t, and the value is 7, so I want the derivative at 7. Um, and then the function is uh, f of t again. So get that. Get negative 1.873, um, which is less than 0, so f of t is decreasing. Um, average value of the traffic flow. So average value. So remember, the function is the traffic flow. Average value of that. So um, that's going to be a fraction. I'm going to take the integral um, from 10 to 15 of the function. t over uh, 15 minus 10. And get a decimal. So 81.899, um, and then the units for that are cars per minute, because average value of a function has the same units as the function itself, um, which makes sense if you uh, think about it for a second. Uh, next question is average rate of change. So they're trying to see if you know the difference between average value and average rate of change. Um, so that's actually just algebra 1 slope of this function. So that's going to be f of 15 minus f of 10. And it, it's much faster on the calculator to um, use the var key to access that. And then 15 minus 10. So 1.518. And then the units here. So the units on um, f of t are cars per minute. And then the units in the denominator are minutes. So that's cars per minute squared. And uh, that's how I would do this problem. So you can see uh, this actually is almost exactly what my work would look like as well. Um, Actually, this is exactly what my work would look like as I uh, went through. So that's it. Took about three and a half minutes, um, probably a little less if you're not trying to explain it as you go along. But anyway, make sure that you can do that because this is the, it's really an ideal calculator question. I mean, the whole thing is just punching buttons and understanding a couple of basic concepts. But uh, I hope this is helpful to you and that you can uh, use these techniques on other questions. Good luck.